Really? Ah, uh, it's the Santa now. Your department set me up with the cover, remember, dipshit? And we can burn you just as easily. Look, I don't know why you're calling, but I need your help with Mr. K. Trevor's on his way. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. This, I gotta see. Are you taking a dump? Why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like you. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, <laughs> for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearthed this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. This'll put hair on your chest. Not that, no, come on, please. You can't! Don't do it! Turn him off! Not the clips! Not that! No! Shit, please! Please! I'm cooperating! 
Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Yeah, man, fuck it. I spent like a whole So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Well, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up. You'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There are more eyes on that town than they need to. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. Monitor. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Talman. The trainee's right, but it's a good exercise. <laughs> what the fuck? How'd that get started? You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. No, 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 no! My teeth are perfect! Mercy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I just wanna get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now, you're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, let me think. I remember... <laughs> If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong. I got blood in my mouth. He's wet, all right. Let up. Let's get him upright. Let me up! <laughs> Let me up! The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We... I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying Beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel. Where you want it? Nowhere! <laughs> Please! It's going to hurt! I hope you're not a steer! I guess our interrogation techniques were a little too advanced. I'm taking a shot of this after him. The light. Let me go through it. <laughs> Mr. King. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. 
It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... Got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all... Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Our